invest best, invest in yourself. Just let you know that that winter is coming, right? We, um, it is the fall, it is the fall right now. And winter is coming. If you go outside right now, it, you see evidence of winter. So we need to invest in ourselves. If we look at the word invest, what is the first letter that we see in invest? We see that letter I. If I wanted to get all deep and poetic, like I invest and the vest is over my heart. You know, I could, I could attempt, attempt to get all deep, but I'm just gonna say, hey, when we look at the word invest, the first letter in it is I. So I want you all to invest in yourself. You know, I'm investing in myself in different ways. I'm sharing that I'm on a fitness journey. This is day 403. So I run every single day a mile and then I tie in workouts, you know, like between four to five times a week. And over this time period, once again, this is day 403, you know, I've lost upwards in the upper 50 pounds, you know what I mean? So I'm approaching that 60 pound mark. And then I have also invested in myself even more recently in reading books, you know, as well as just having conversations, as well as listening to podcasts. Just, you know, we live in this technology era where we have access to so much. So I simply say invest best, you know, like invest in yourself. We've all heard the scenario. Um, it's, it's, it's a real life scenario, but LeBron James he ranked one of the number one, if not the number one basketball player right now. He invests over $1.5 million dollars. A year you know some of us you know we may say man I wish I made 1.5 million dollars you know but he invests 1.5 million dollars a year and I don't know what his what his contracts or endorsements or anything are but I know that it's worth it you know he gets his meal plan like his body is literally you know a machine so he wants the best you know he wants the best treatment the best fuel you know the best maintenance invest in yourself so i want us to think like how do we invest in ourselves? because just know you know winter is coming or in lebron james case you know there's like a championship or something coming and that's what he is preparing for even more so the championship of life because i know he create he's creating different things in the school you know so i'm just going to encourage all of you all i'm encouraged myself because there's something that we want to build there's something that we want to create there's results that we want to have there's something that we want to produce or leave behind and in order to do so we have to take time to invest in ourselves remember i'm a teacher you know not a speaker we could even look in nature and like I said jokingly earlier winter is coming and when you look outside there's something that you're gonna notice you're gonna notice that some of the trees they begin to drop their leaves bars trees drop their leaves you know but why do they do that because during the summertime you know they're they're, they're producing fruit you know they're storing energy so they're um they're storing food they're making food they're growing food all summer long you know but when winter comes we know Know that harsh temperature is not something that enhances growth you know so they're preparing for that you know so because of that and because you know they also lose water vapor and so forth out of their leaves they decide like we're going to drop our leaves we're gonna go dormant there are some trees that remain green you know we're looking at some of the, the pines the conifers you know they're known for having those needle like leaves you know and just think about that they're kind of pointy so that's gonna probably keep some animals away from eating them but also they have a waxy feel and they're also narrow so overall that reduces water loss and nutrient loss during the winter so that's why they're referred to as 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 evergreen if we look at the, um, the animal kingdom we know that um, animals some of them eat a lot of food you know that because food will get scarce in the winter so they fatten themselves up if we look at maybe bees or other insects bees are collect, are producing honey all spring all summer long and they're storing up that honey they're investing in themselves and 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 in their hive because they know when winter comes they're going to have something to um, to provide what they need for and also for their offspring. If we look at squirrels, we know that they're gathering, you know, different types of, you know, acorns and so forth that they're, that they're stockpiling that up. They are preparing for winter. They are investing 
in themselves. So you have trees preparing, you have some animals, once again, that are migrating. They're heading to warmer climate, whether they're aquatic animals, different fish or whales, you know, they may swim to warmer waters where the current brings in that nice warm water where the where more food could be found. So they may move like that. They're monarch butterflies, there's birds, they may fly south. They're going to warmer climate where they're going to find, find more food. You know, we gotta put ourselves in the best position to be successful invest in yourself you know just like lebron james he's worried about his physical body and his health so he invests you know there's other people that may take masterminds they may take um do therapy sessions or they find different types of exercises or you know um just different means and different outlets to implement their gift they are investing in themselves even me personally taking this time you know to just tie in my love and passion for science and my love to teach and bring it all together. That's why I always say I'm a teacher, not a speaker. Invest in yourself. Remember the very first letter in the word invest is I. So in order for you to really accomplish what you want to accomplish and, and produce what you want to produce, take the time to invest in yourself. Remember I'm a teacher, not a speaker. Y'all have an amazing day.